Tesla reveals 16,000 ton gigapress is coming. Tesla discovered a way to cast large objects in one piece. Turkey approaches Elon about building a new Giga plant while Pepsi's Tesla semis demonstrate their outstanding endurance during a hauling competition. The Tesla community has learned of this development thanks to A. Rutter's article published on September 14th. Five anonymous sources familiar with current company projects claim that Tesla has made a significant advancement with its Gigapress technology, which has the potential to completely alter how the company makes its vehicles. And every one of you wants to know that. What are the most exciting features of the upcoming Tesla 16,000 ton Giga Press? How it is different from others? What makes it unique? Answers to all these questions will be in this video. But before starting the video, if you are new to our channel, do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will never miss an update. Let's start the video to make the Model 3, Model Y, and the upcoming Cybertruck more easily produced. Tesla now uses their Gigapress casting equipment. This eliminates a technique that often requires multiple parts to be welded together by casting substantial segments of the vehicle's underbody in incredibly strong presses. By substituting two sizable castings and a structural battery pack for roughly 70 parts, Tesla has reportedly been able to reduce its production costs by up to 40% for the Model Y alone. Therefore, it was not surprising to find that Tesla intends to build on this efficiency with their future 25,000 car platform. A more compact design that Tesla plans to use to create an inexpensive EV and a brand new iteration of the robot taxi. This is the car that was hinted at on March 1st during Tesla's Investor Day event. This unboxed technique of manufacture would revolutionize the conventional way of putting together an automobile and would go along with a lengthy presentation on the company's new manufacturing strategy. The aim was for separate sub-assemblies of a vehicle to be assembled at different stations concurrently, allowing employees to more readily reach parts and work alongside robots with less difficulty, a procedure that hasn't seen much updating over the last hundred years or so. The way that cars are now assembled is fairly linear, with pieces being attached in a certain order to vehicles as they go from station to station. This often creates uncomfortable working conditions, as the planned new system is more fully implemented in the vehicle by efficiently and gradually distributing the job. All the pieces would come together after the process, saving time and money. However, according to Reuters sources, Tesla has been able to plan considerably broader thanks to new technologies and the lessons it learned while producing the Cybertruck. First of all, it appears that they plan to cast the entire underbody of this new vehicle in a single piece. With the use of the Cybertruck, the team gained a lot of knowledge about casting larger items. Tesla was compelled to purchase two new Giga Press machines with a pressure rating of 9,000 tons of force because the parts for this vehicle were so much larger than their previous work on the Model 3. However, this new vehicle will be smaller than even the Model 3, according to the sources, who also noted that the new vehicle's current design has a very small front and rear. The subject is ideal for testing this one-piece underbody casting concept because there is almost no storage space. However, it's not like Tesla's 9,000 ton presses could handle an entire underbody, even if the new vehicle is very small. So, they need a bigger press, about 16,000 tons. If the sources are to be believed and depressed that big runs across a few problems, not least of which would be that their size alone would probably mean redesigning the buildings even on a small scale. Producing molds for casting machines is expensive, which makes it challenging to design a vehicle for a casting system, they say. But that's not the largest issue, because mold modifications can cost hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars, depending on their size. This is where new technology comes into play. Tesla must be able to produce test molds at a reasonable cost. They also need to be able to create molds that feature hollows since doing so boosts a vehicle's safety in an accident and reduces weight, which is difficult to do with a typical casting mold. This will allow them to experiment freely with the new vehicles that were designed during pre-production. Therefore, it has been suggested that sand will play a significant role in the new method used by Tesla. Some recent advancements from European casting experts the use of industrial sand 
to successfully 3D print complex and detailed buildings has been discovered by Japan and the United States. A sand with a high silica concentration that is typically utilized in insulation for glass manufacturing and other operations connected to construction. To create the molds, layers of sand are laid down by a giant printer's arm. To give the structure some rigidity, they combine binding agents. Industrial sand is a material that is frequently used, making it relatively simple to work with, capable of producing detailed features in complex designs and easily recyclable. This implies that speedy creation, disposal, and repurposing of new molds is possible. Designing finished molds that can subsequently be produced in metal for as little as 3% of the price of conventional mold production procedures and in less than half the time is necessary. Add to that the capability of creating hollow spaces in a mold by incorporating 3D printed sand cores that can be removed easily later. However, there are a few issues that still require resolution. For example, according to reports, the planned 16,000 ton pressures required to cast a single body using the method Tesla has been utilizing would prevent the usage of sand cores. Instead of using a high pressure squeeze, they may convert to using injection mold techniques, slowly introducing molten material into the mold chamber. This would make a higher quality cast, which could use the sand cores, but it's slower. All of this is involved in choosing a new production system. To possibly improve both speed and quality, Tesla will be increasing efficiency in some areas. If Tesla can accomplish this, however, in some areas, it will be a delicate balancing act. By carefully implementing new technologies, they will revolutionize the way cars are constructed and demonstrate what is possible. Only five charging stops over 48 hours, 16,000 miles, and 80,000 pounds of freight. The Pepsi Tesla truck spent two days completely disproving any notion of what an electric tractor trailer is capable of running on less. Since September 11, a competition-style event called Run on Lust has been going on which numerous businesses with electric freight vehicles permit observers from the North American Council for Freight Efficiency to collect statistics. The goal is to demonstrate that electric goods vehicles may be a viable alternative to diesel-powered trucks while the drivers are on the road, as well as to highlight the elements that make an electric fleet possible, such as charging infrastructure as one of the participants. One of PepsiCo's brand new Tesla semis was offered for consideration. Since the company received the first batch of Tesla automobiles at an event on December 1st, 2022, they have been owned by the company. While it's safe to assume that PepsiCo's new electric fleet has been very successful, its statistics from this incident demonstrate an astounding level of effectiveness. The Pepsi run started on the 13th and over the following 24 hours, you can see the truck only stopping for deliveries and a smaller charge that was intended to increase the range until the major charge shortly before noon. Take note of the steep queue for the charge. It will be crucial later on over both days. Only three major charges and two smaller ones required the semi to stop. Other than that, the truck was virtually constantly moving and carrying a full 80,000 pounds, which helped to expand the range. The Tesla Semi can readily compete with its more traditional counterparts. More nations are vying for Tesla's attention and, ideally, the opening of their own Gigafactory on September 17. Erdogan and Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, had a brief meeting in New York City. Hope was to persuade Elon to move the next Giga plant for the firm to Turkey. In recent months, India has made some extremely compelling offers for its own Giga plant, which Tesla seemed to consider very seriously. Elon has been indicating that another location might be disclosed towards the end of 2023, not to mention Tesla's work with the Canadian government and even rumors that he is in contact with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, not to mention buying a sizable office space for future expansion. Although Elon has categorically rejected the previous one, there is no reason why the business couldn't pursue further locations. But stretching Tesla's Holding seems like a strange decision. Therefore, consider the time right after they truly recover from the pandemic. Whatever the case, the relationship between Tesla and Turkey is currently quite solid, so it's impossible to predict what a little more time and a few more meetings will lead to. Turkey makes sense as a secure location to establish a production hub close to the Middle East, and Tesla hasn't announced the location of their upcoming Gigafactory. Therefore, Erdogan may make a declaration before the year is over. 
If you liked the video, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today. Also, share it so that it is so important for getting our content out to more people. Thanks for watching.